I've published this circuit a few hours ago on YouTube. It's a AC voltage amplifier uh, suitable for sine waves and square waves. Input in is 0.2 volts, output say 8 volts or so. But I have to say that this was the second circuit and this was the first circuit that I developed earlier. And um, I didn't publish it earlier because it only worked up to 10 kilohertz properly. But perhaps it's interesting and the good thing from it is that it works uh, good. It amplifies better on low frequencies. Don't know why exactly, but anyway, it amplifies from say 20 hertz, perhaps even 10 hertz, up to 10 kilohertz. Input 0.2 volts AC, sine wave or square wave, and here the output voltages. And the sine wave output voltage is between 5.2 volts and again 5.2 volts. On 10 kilohertz, so 5.2 on 48 hertz, this is a frequency band. And on square waves, approximately 8 volts over all the frequencies between 50 hertz and 10 kilohertz. Here's a circuit how I made it in real. Uh, completely made in a classical way on well varnished wood with brass pins etc and at the moment we see here on the pointer of the meter kind of maximum output while we are looking at a frequency of uh, 10 kilohertz and it's a sine wave so let's look how the Sine wave looks on square wave looks. This is a square wave on 10 kilohertz. Square wave on 1 kilohertz. Square wave on 100 hertz. Square wave on 10 hertz. But when we go to somewhat higher frequency it surely, you can surely see how that circuit amplifies. This is 50 hertz. Now we go to the sine wave, 50 hertz sine wave. Uh, approximately 600 hertz sine wave. 6.7 kilohertz sine wave, 70, sorry, 67 kilohertz sine wave, and I tune back now to 10 kilohertz. So. I think it's a useful circuit, just like the, the first one that I published. And uh, perhaps interesting to do experiments.